Today I'm going to be making a grime instrumental in the style of JK or Thomas Mellor. This type of instrumental is one of my favourites to make overall I'd say and they're some of my most popular for whatever reason. I've been making these beats since about like 2018 so I have a little bit of experience. Obviously not a close to the creator of the subgenre but hopefully I can effectively emulate the sound that I'm going for. Toothache by JK or Thomas Mellor's instrumental called Froggy which I'll put on the screen now if I remember. All pretty good stuff starting points, very wide soundscapes or orchestral sounds, really hard hitting atmospheric drums, stuff like that. So I'm going to give it a go. We're going to first need a choir sample or some sort of orchestral starting point. How I've made these beats has kind of changed over the past few years. Like I used to use a lot of Omnisphere choirs and a lot of Analog Lab 4 or like, I don't know, contact banks, but that right now is not giving me the sound that I want. So I'm opting for a sample. So I'm just going to pick any one really because it's not really that important. But now I have found this sample made by Alyosha Beats. I hope I've pronounced that properly. So yeah, it sounds like this. You could probably hear it. It's 140 BPM, but there's some parts of the sample that just aren't in time. So we're going to have to chop it up like a little bit. This process is probably going to take a long time, so I might just skip it because it's just me going into the piano roll with a slice tool and just chopping it up for like 20 minutes. So this is what the sample sounds like now. I don't think I'm going to touch the pitch of the sample too much because I don't want it to sound too different from what it was originally because it actually sounds pretty good already. I'm probably just going to bounce this out and then see where it goes from there. So... sample needs some effects on it because there's too much low end and I can't really add a bass line or anything. I think I already have a preset for this. Yeah, I got a choir sample preset right here. So I'm just going to throw that on. To the sample, I've EQ'd out some of the low end and some of the high end. I added some crystal clear with some soothe to remove the resonating frequencies. I've added some effect tricks for a stutter effect. I added kickstart 2 to just punch in the melody a little bit more. I added some RC because clearly I can't live without this plugin. I'm sorry. I've gotten into the habit of using it again in like all of my loops and it's not healthy at all but added some reverb just to make it sound like it was recorded in a cathedral or something i don't know this is what it sounds like now by itself going to use live drums for this because I feel like one shot drums from drum kits while I still use them in these beats it makes it sound a bit too robotic and I need something more humanized for these kind of beats so I use a uh, addictive drums like live hi-hat
trouble with addictive drums is that for whatever reason, it didn't used to do this, but it puts a lot of stress on my CPU. So I've got to bounce out all of the addictive drum stems because otherwise I, my PC just can't handle it and I don't know why. All right, yeah, I changed the notes around a little bit and I bounced it out and now it sounds like this. I'm going to add another hat and I'm just going to repeat the same process except I'm probably just going to make it the crotchets. Alright, this is what the second hat sounds like. That took me so long to do. I have to change like the velocities of each note. There's a specific symbol that I always use from addictive drums to start out the 16 bar or whatever. Yeah, it's this one. It may not sound like much right now, but when you add reverb to it and delay, it sounds really good. I'm going to bounce that one out also. So now we're going to keep going with the drums. We need a, we need like a hard hitting kick. So we're not going for like a trap kick or a drill kick. We want just a, a well-rounded one. Now the kick can't stay like that, for one it's not loud enough, but also we need a live element to complement it. So we're going to add an addictive drums kick and we're just going to copy this kick pattern into this one. What I'm going to do now is bounce out the kick pattern into its own file. Now we're going to one snares. I might actually use a drill snare for this because it just makes sense. We're going to lower the velocity of the second snare. Now we're also going to need a addictive drum snare to complement it. All right, nice, we're gonna bounce that out too. shot hi-hat now just to go in the background i might just go with the one i always use i'm also going to add another hi-hat that's just doing crotchet beats again i'm just layering drums basically Just loop that over and randomize velocities. So I'm also going to add some toms, just going to throw them into addictive drums again. The toms sound a bit like this. And that's on the left side and then on the right side it sounds like this. There's like barely any difference, but when you put them together, it sounds pretty cool. That's the basic elements of the beats done. So now I'm just going to have to mix it and arrange the beat completely and it will all come together, hopefully. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't done this in a while, so let's just get to mixing.
set some reverb to the symbol, like I said. Sounds like this. Let's see what the sample sounds like with the bass now. So... So as we can see on the master channel, the beat is peaking like a little bit. So I'm going to add some ozone and just drop the ceiling just to make sure it doesn't peak. All right, the mix is basically done. So now all we have to do is arrange the beat. I'm also going to add some halftime and some effect tricks just to make it sound even more cursed when it first starts, so. to make more beats like that that is crazy um wow okay honestly i don't really hear too many more of these like thomas Mellor, like grime type beats because there's not many uh, artists going over grime beats right now but it's really nice to just switch it up and make something new for once so i'm quite happy with it and of course thomas Mellor, uh tom xl like people like that big inspiration to me so i listen to a lot of their stuff i know thomas Mellor is he's not only a producer but he's like a really talented composer as well and you can kind of hear that in his uh, grime music let's just listen to the beat and see what I could do better for next time.